Okay, so we're dividing uh, with decimals. And the first one here, since the denominator is uh, a whole number, we don't have to worry about moving any decimals here. So we just have to divide. So we're going to take 51 into 229.5. So we put our decimal up there so we don't forget it. Now, 5 times 4 will give us 20. We have 22. So if we take 51 times the 4, that'll be 4, that'll be 20. So let's try that to start with. So that's 204, subtract that off. 9 minus 4 is 5, 2 minus 0 is 2. Now we bring down our 5. Um, 5 times 5 will give us 25. So now if we have that, that's 5, that's 25. So that looks good. And so we have 255, subtract that off, we have 0. We're going for the remainder of 0, so we're there. And so this is just equal to 4.5. So as you've noticed, a lot of the times when I'm doing uh, this, I try to figure out 5 times what will give me something that's close to this. So I, here I took 5 times 4 and got me 20. That's close to 22. And then I just had to go and see what it was and then do the subtraction. And then I was like, well, 5 times 5 is 25. And it just happened that that also made that last number of five or the first one, however you want to look at it. And so it all just is a matter of practicing, multiplying and things like that. All right. So the next one, we have a decimal we have to worry about. And so because of that, what we're going to do is we have to move that decimal place two spots in the denominator to make it a whole number. And so we also have to move it two spots in the numerator and to be to basically be equal. And so now we have 29 into 246.5. And we'll put our decimal in the numerator. Now, what do we have? Well, if I take 29 times maybe 8, if I take it times 9, I think that's going to be too big. But we'll take it times 8 and see what we get here. I don't know what we're going to end up with. So 29 times 8. And so that's going to give us 72. That's going to give us 16. That's going to give us 23. And so let's see. Yeah, so that looks good, I think. So that's going to be an 8. So that's 232. Subtract. That's going to give us a 4. That's a 1. That's a 5. Um, if I take this times 4. 5, that's going to give me a 40, uh, 5 there. So let's take 29 times 5. That's 45. 10 plus 4 is 14. So that's a 5. So 145 minus, that's going to give us 0. So this is equal to 8.5. Okay. So c combining the uh, 29 times something to get me something close to here, I had to think of 9 was going to give me too much. And so then I tried 8, and that gave me 232, so that worked. And then I was like, okay, 29 times what? Can I get anything times 5? Well, 5 times 9 was going to give me a 45. And then it worked out that that was equal to 145. So sometimes just again, playing around uh, makes it so you can figure out what the answers are without having to uh, multiply a whole bunch of different numbers. All right, so now let's do 7.8. Well, we have to move that over one. So that means we have to move that over one. So now we have 78 into 280.8. Bring our decimal up there. And so now 7 times 4 is going to give us 28, so that's too big. So let's try 78 times 3, so that's 24, that's 21, 22, 23. And if we add another 7, that's going to be over our number. So 3 looks to be a good start, so that's 234. Subtract that, so that's a 7, that's 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. 7 minus 3 is 4. That's less than 78, so we're good there. So we'll put an 8 here. 8 times what is going to give me an 8 here? Well, 8 times 6 will give me 48. And that's going to be 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. And lo and behold, that is what I want here. So subtract, that's 0. So this is equal to 3.6. Okay. Now the next one here, we have a negative divided by a negative. Well, let's go ahead and get rid of those, make it positive only. 
Now we just have to get rid of the decimal. So we get rid of decimal here as well. So 72 into 295.29.52, oh, uh, sorry. So let's get the eraser out. All right, so let's just write our 295.2, and that's going to be a decimal there, so it's a decimal there, so it's going to be zero. All right, so how many times does 72 go into 29? Seven times, ooh, three, four, three, pro let's try three, and then we might have to try four. So that's going to be six, that's going to be 21, plus 72. That's eight, that's eight. All right, so it's gonna be times four. So this is gonna be times four. So that's gonna give me 288. Subtracting that, we have eight there. So that's gonna give me a seven, bring down my two. Uh, it goes in once, and that's 72. Subtract, that's zero. So this looks to be just 0 0.41. All right. So again, it's positive because we have negative divided by negative, which is positive, and so that is our final answer. All right, so now we have a couple more. One we have, it looks like dividing by powers of 10, so that's gonna be an easy one. This one, again, not too hard, uh, but we do have to move our decimal place first. So we move it to here, move it to here. So now we're gonna take 62 into 57.66. Now here we know our answer is negative because it's a positive divided by negative, so we're gonna have a negative answer. Now we have to think about this. So the decimal goes here, that's zero because that's bigger. Um, so 62 times, so what is gonna give us 50? So 62 times nine maybe? Uh, so that's gonna be 18, that's 54, 55, so that looks good. So that's gonna give us 55, eight, subtract that. So that's gonna be a six. So 16 minus eight is eight, six minus five is one, bring down our six. Um, so 62 times three, cause that'll give me a six here. That'll give me an 18. So that's gonna be a three, that's 186. After we subtract it, we get zero. So we get for our answer then, a negative 0 0.93. All right, so on this one we divide by powers of 10. So here n is equal to four, so we're gonna move left four spaces. So that's pretty easy. So four, 6.63, we're gonna move left. So let's add some zeros out here. And we're gonna move one, two, three, four. So we get 0 0.004663, and that should then be our answer. And again, all we had to do was move left by the number that was equal to n. So we moved left four spaces. So if we look at it again, we moved one, two, three, four, and then we have our answer. All right, so this one we need to round to the nearest hundredth and thousandth. So if we need to get to the thousandth, that means we're gonna have to go to four decimal places because that'll be our 10,000th. And so if we do that, we're gonna have 57 into 4.1234, because it's tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. We have to have that one to be able to round to the thousandth. So we put our zero, or our decimal and our zero here. Well, and guess what? It doesn't go into 40 either. So now we have to go into 400. So 57 times, oh, let's say six maybe. So that's 42, that's 34. And if we add another 57, what's that give us? That's a nine, nine, and a three. So it looks like that's gonna be times seven. So that would be our seven. So it's gonna give us 399. We subtract that, that's a one bring down our zero, that's gonna be a zero, put that. Um, that's just gonna be a one because there's only gonna be one time that goes into that and we don't have to worry about multiplying that too much. And so then we subtract that. Well, here we go, zero, that's gonna be 10, that becomes nine. So 10 minus seven is three, nine minus five is four. 
but we should be done at this point here so we don't have to uh, go any further if we wanted to you know we could bring down another zero but here again we've got the tenth hundred thousandth and ten thousand so that will round there so uh let's say this one again is a let's call this one b so for a uh we have uh, what we're going to do is the 0 0.0701. We're rounding to the nearest hundredth, which is this, which is the 7. And so this is our rounding digit. Well, that's less than 5, so that doesn't round. So that gives us 0 0.07 is going to be rounded to the nearest hundredth. Now for B, we have 0 0.0701. And we want to round to the nearest thousandth, which is this position. This is our rounding digit. It's less than five also. So that's going to give us then just leave that as a zero, 0, 0.070. And that would be then our answer there. All right. Uh, so that's uh, pretty much what we have for our answer. Um, so let's see here. Um, 10. I'm just checking to make sure I had that right. Uh, so that's that's our um, what we have for our first set of examples. Then I'll make another set here in a little bit.